from Hollywood, it's the most non-threatening black men on television, The Brothers Brothers. Tom. <laughs> My brother's a brother, and so am I, or so it appears to the casual eye. The networks want blacks, but they don't want them real, so Oreos like us get a hell of a deal. So it's hidey ho, to prime time we go, with the hey you jive turkey, what do you say bro? I swear to we're brothers who are brothers, and we have our own show. Hey, Tom. Yes, Tom? Uh, wait, how can we both be named Tom? Easy. We're named after our uncle. Oh, oh boy. Knock, knock. Who's there? Spike. Spike who? Hope it's not Spike Lee, that little troublemaker. What's, What's his problem? problem? Oh. So it's hidey ho, as I pick out my fro. We all play the same parts, whatever the show. The guys are all pimps and each chick is a hoe. If we just sell out, we'll be rolling in dough. Say, Tom. Yes, Tom? Did you know Mother was coming to live with us? Uh-oh, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> oh. Bill Cosby's a doctor with a lawyer for a wife. As black folks all know, it's the average life. A six-bedroom house and a really cute pup. His kids don't do drugs and they don't get knocked up. Uh, Tom? Yes, Tom? What's black and white all over? Us! <laughs> with a hidey hole and a wax happening do To show you our real selves would only be rude. It's a whole different world till our ratings get low. We're brothers who are brothers and we have our own show. We're brothers who are brothers and we have our own show. Brothers Comedy Hour is brought to you by Whiteout. If you can't see it, you can pretend it doesn't exist. KYYT now presents a minority affairs program, Black Like You. Here are your hosts, Tom and Tom, the Brothers Brothers. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, how are you? I'm Tom. Howdy. We are delighted to host this very worthwhile show. What do you say, Tom? That's right, Tom. In fact, we've written a very special song just for this show. Well, let's kick it off, brother. Shall we? Problems and black seem to go hand in hand Wherever they roam in this glorious land We'll help them with customs, we'll help them with laws And we'll try to solve all the problems they cause All righty! Oh, come on! Come on, <laughs> All righty! Well, let's get started, shall we? Yes, we certainly shall! <laughs> Today's guest is a young man who says he was sent to prison for a crime he didn't commit. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, let's meet him anyway. Say hello to Mr. Rajim Carter. Come on out, Rajim. <laughs> is that some sort of karate move there? <laughs> well, what's happening is we're doing a show. <laughs> so, I mean, let's just... Cut right to the chase, Raj. Right to it. You know, what is your beef? All right, first of all, I want to say uh, how glad I am that there's finally a show like this here where we brothers can discuss oh, things like... here? Where's your brother? Hey, Come on, bring him out. Get out of here. Out here. I didn't see him back Yo, yo, man. Yo, I'm talking about us three brothers. I think oh. you're kind of confused. Yeah. We're the brothers, brothers. You're a black guy who came to complain about something. <laughs> Man, I'm not here complaining. See, I just want people to know how the man screwed me up. The man? The man? <laughs> what, what man? You know the man. Mr. Charlie? Bobo. His legal system has railroaded me, brother. 
Well, there's your problem. Mr. Charlie Bobo's legal firm hardly sounds like a reputable one to me. I mean, never trust a man with the last name Bobo. I mean, <laughs> would you buy a home from Louis Bobo? I sure wouldn't. <laughs> oh. Say what? 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 <laughs> Y'all don't even understand, man. The police arrested me for no reason. Oh, come, come on. on. The police don't do that. They're your friends. They're here to protect and serve. Yeah, well, my friends dragged me out my crib butt naked. Well, gosh darn it, what the heck were you doing butt naked in the baby's crib? <laughs> now, don't y'all understand? Man, I went to prison for eight years, and the only thing I learned was how to resole shoes. Well, gosh darn it, you should be darn happy that you learned a trade. You're darn <laughs> a trade. Man, nobody wants to get their shoes resold That's anymore. Oh, so well, heck, I've got a few pair backstage. You could start on them right after the show. You can even shine them for me. <laughs> shine shoes. Now, what kind of a Tom do you think I am? Oh, there, there you go, go again. Then. I think he's confused. You know, we're the Toms. <laughs> You're the angry black guy. Right. Yeah, you got that right. You're the biggest Toms I ever seen. Oh, oh thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs> I've been working out a little with the gym. <laughs> well, actually, Tom Brokaw is bigger than us. Yeah, but he's right. I guess it's obvious, man. Y'all guys, you can't relate to this at all. Man, I suffered in the joint. Hey, hey, hey. You don't give us that doohickey nonsense, mister. <laughs> That's right, I'll say doohickey again. Hey, Tom, take it I'm, I'm out there. I'm out there. Doohickey, darn it, heck. <laughs> now, I want you to know suffering, mister. When you talk to Tom and Tom, we know suffering. That's right. Go ahead, tell them about the time in Tahoe, mister. We wrote a Tahoe for a work engagement, mind you. We had reservations, a confirmation number, and got there, and only one of our rooms were available. We had to share. And needless to say that we were pretty upset behind that. <laughs> I had to call my mom. <laughs> Lucky it was a sweet, huh? Y'all don't even know what time it is, do you? Oh, sure. 7.25. Oh, I guess you're on CP time. <laughs> Can we get away with that? So I suppose y'all think I'm supposed to just move out into the suburbs, man, get a nose job, marry some white woman, buy a BMW, and just totally sell out, right? That's the spirit? Yeah, and maybe you want to put a brim on that hat. <laughs> well... I guess we showed him how to look at things on the brighter side. I think we certainly have. Tell you what, why don't we sing a song about it? All righty, brother. <laughs> and you know I mean for journal. <laughs> when you're in trouble, just call 911 and write to your doorstep. The police will run. But if they should cuff you and give you a smack, it's because you're guilty, not because you're black. Always give this table to the brothers. How oh, are they all interrelated? <laughs> oh, well, you know, Tom, everybody knows your brother's brothers. A celebrity, gosh darn it. <laughs> I mean, why do you think they always put us in the back by the kitchen? Oh. So people won't mob us. Oh, is that it? <laughs> wow, those must be our dates. Yeah, one of them's a great looker. I know, but look at the other one. Ew. Hi, I'm Pam. Hi, hi, Pam. You must be the Toms. Yeah, yeah. that we are. Have a seat. Oh, thanks. Careful. You okay? Watch your legs. Oh, 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 o
I'm in my third year of medical school. When I graduate, I plan on opening a clinic in the inner city. Wow, oh, hand model. Huh? <laughs> yeah, look at this. Wow, oh boy. How do you do that? <laughs> well, it's pretty tricky, but I studied. <laughs> <laughs> look like an A student to me, what do you say? <laughs> with the get down baby. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Oh, how can I watch myself? I'll watch you for you. You're so much hipper than I am. Just look at him go. Go, Tom. Tom, go under. Look at those moves. Don't you just love this song? Actually, I prefer rap. I like the political statement it makes. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, that, that I think is very important. Yeah. I mean, that's why I like Don't Worry, Be Happy, because it has a very powerful message. Yeah, wow, so... <laughs> <laughs> that was great! Watch yourself! <laughs> okay! <laughs> that was great, Tom. Hey, Tom, you'll never guess, man! <laughs> Marsha is her favorite Brady, too! Get yeah. out of here! <laughs> Here's Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barney Square. But Patty's only seen the sights of Gaga Casino, but tonight, what are the baby bears? I love Patty, but you okay. Okay, okay, how about this one? All right, go. Fish don't fry in the kitchen, bees don't burn on the grill. Took a whole lot of trying just to get up that hill when we're moving on up to the east side. Finally got up. Would you like to watch What's that? <laughs> oh, it was a theme from the Jeffersons. You don't remember that? Thomas Jefferson had a series? No. No, it was about a successful black businessman who moved to the east side of New York. Wow. That's not a last There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Sister, can I get you anything? Yeah, you can tell those two Toms something for me. And she said to tell you two times you make Brian Gumble look like Flavor Flav. Who's well, Flavor Flav? I know the guy in Byron better get his teeth fixed, because that's not attractive. I wouldn't want to look like Flavor Flav. I want to be named after him. What's he going to name his kid? Tasto Tasto. Well, Tom, I got an idea. What is it, Tom? How about we say it in a song? You're a smart Tom. Hey, watch this way. Bring us our instruments. Wow, it's just like an Elvis movie. <laughs> Dance with your thumbs up, you wear saddle shoes You don't have opinions that challenge our views Your skin is so creamy, your eyes are so blue We're a match made in heaven, cause we're just like you We're a match made in heaven, cause we're just like you Why did Eric
Arizona say no to the Martin Luther King holiday? Well, uh, as you know, we put it to the voters, and they voted it down 50% uh, to 49%. Will the Super Bowl be held here? And what about the Fiesta Bowl? Isn't it true Arizona faces a total boycott of black athletes and celebrities? Why, no, that's not true at all. As a matter of fact, we have two well-known black celebrities who have agreed to be our spokesmen, men who have their finger on the pulse of the black community. I'd like to introduce them now. Here are Tom and Tom, the Brothers Brothers. <laughs> Oh, that's all I've got. <laughs> I hope you return it. <laughs> oh, how about on instruments, eh? Thank you, Jets. <laughs> Kick it off, Tom. Come to Arizona, the Grand Canyon State, and don't be put off by this racial debate. The folks here aren't racist, I know this is true. They still show the Jeffersons on Channel 2. Excuse me, we didn't come here to see a nightclub act. I still want to know why Arizona doesn't have a king holiday. Well, why should we give Don King a holiday? I mean, he can't even comb his hair straight. <laughs> That's right, I mean, he's made some great advancements in the world of boxing. We're but... talking about Martin Luther King. Who? Is, is he any relation to Alan King or Stephen King or the Billy Jean King? The civil rights leader. Martin King. Ah, oh, Abernathy's friend, sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, he was certainly nice gentleman, but um, I guess just another holiday would be so inconvenient. I mean, the banks would be closed, you couldn't get your mail, you know. Exactly, and I don't think that's how he would have wanted it. No, I mean, I, I've got it. I say we celebrate from midnight to 8 a.m. I mean, after all, isn't that what he's famous for, having a dream? That's right, he had a dream. <laughs> or we could just have a, a, a white sale or something. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'd be there. I'm sure you would. <laughs> but, but don't you think the Arizona voters were insensitive? Insensitive my left boot? Come on. <laughs> I mean, Arizonians are always looking for a way to sh help you out. Why, the police pulled us over three times just to make sure we knew where we were going. That's right. They even gave us this great big hug around the neck. Wouldn't let go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, we thought we were going to die from all the affection. <laughs> yeah, you've still, you still got some burns around your neck from all that affection. <laughs> So don't give us any of that doohickey nonsense. Tom, caught your mouth. No, I'm tired of this Franken-Turtle bull donkey. Ow! I mean, never heard him talk like this before. Well, you talk about hospitality, I'm going to tell him about last night. I'll tell him about last night. We get home late last night, and I'll be gosh darn if the Arizonians didn't light a nice big fire in our lawn so we could find our keys. Yes, they did. <laughs> so it's Heidi Hay and a yippee ki -yay. We love Arizona and we're here to say Please don't think the worst of the average gent Cause they're not all big, it's just 50% Cause they're not all big, it's just 50% I tell you, these are the best damn applications I've ever seen. These two are going to fit right in here at the Dixie Hills Country Club. Look at this. Harvard graduates, champion skiers, members of the Glee Club. <laughs> Show them in. Let's get these formalities over with. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, the kitchen entrance is for the caddies. Well, thanks. We drive a Volvo. And frankly, we'd rather keep it in the parking lot, wouldn't you say, Tom? That's right. <laughs> you don't want the you-know-who's to get it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? We're Tom and Tom, the Brothers Brothers. That's right. Oh, well, we hope we're not late. It's just that uh, that initiation you put us through is pretty tricky. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the friendliest dogs I've ever seen in my life. That was very clever of you. That's and right. the guy with the billy club, hey, he must be a method actor. I've That's got some right. nuts on my noodle hair. You <laughs> might want to feed those dogs, though. That's right. Oh, but they had the friendliest little smiles with their all those teeth. I haven't seen anything like that in a long time. I thought Gary Coleman was on my arm. <laughs> I think we're ready for the last step, though. We've practiced in a handshake. Let's show them, Tom. 
I mean, we're all Republicans, and you're probably Jesse supporters. You bet you're a last graham cracker in um, Velveeta cheese. That's right. Well, I mean, Jesse Helms is a great man. Any Republican workers waiting in cougar hands would know that. That's right. He's still a rock for the tobacco industry. Why, if it wasn't for Jesse, there'd be no cigarettes. No, that's right. I mean, what would you do after sex? Smoke a ham? <laughs> About Jesse Jackson? Who? <laughs> Is he the one between Michael and Tito? Yeah, he plays the bongos, doesn't he? The one that kept the nose. Look, do I have to spell it out for you people? We don't want your kind around here. Oh, here we go again, Tom. Fargan noodle. Oh, bull dookie. That's right. Don't blow your stack. No, man. doodle noodles. Don't double doodle noodles, but don't blow your stack. Well, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of this kind of prejudice. Listen here, pal. Just because we're entertainers doesn't make us snobs. That's right. We're people. We are the world. Kumbaya. <laughs> That is not what we meant. So, you're entertainers. Well then, you might want to meet uh, the club comedian, Tom and Tom. Meet Billy Bob Baker. Billy Bob Baker. Hey, How you boys Billy doing? Billy, <laughs> Billy Bob Baker. See, see, I got a real corker for y'all. <laughs> what do you call a black man in a three-piece suit? <laughs> a defendant. <laughs> well, how'd you know that joke? Know it? We wrote it. <laughs> Sure do. Yeah, I got one for you. <laughs> Why is all the aspirin white? Because you want it to work for you, don't you? <laughs> I got one. 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 <laughs> How do you babysit a little black kid? Velcro on the ceiling. <laughs> You know, Otis, I think we should elect him. It may help us settle that discrimination suit. Hmm. Colonel. <laughs> All righty then. Congratulations. Oh! We're the new Dixie Hill Country Club, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, gosh. I'm speechless. This is, this is the happiest day of my life. I, I haven't been this honored since I won the Brian Gummel Lookalike Contest. <laughs> And I've run the Byron Allen look like. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Uh, I'll tell you what, how about how about we sing about it, Tom? Yeah, let's do that. Howard. Howard. Coming right up. Uh, <laughs> say. Is that Uncle Ben? <laughs> If you need a token, then just count on us We'll fulfill your quota, we won't make a fuss Although our skin is dark, it's no problem, you see Your golf balls and ours are both white as can be <laughs> KYYT presents a minority affairs program, Black Like You. Here are your hosts, Tom and Tom, the Brothers Brothers. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Black Like You, not us. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I'm so excited tonight, Tom. We have a very special guest, African filmmaker, Spike Lee. Oh, wow, that's great. I loved all those karate movies you made. hi ya hi ya Enter the dragon. Tom. What? I think you popped a boner. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Spike Lee, not Bruce Lee. You know Spike, the little, the little guy with the skinny legs and big feet? Oh, the troublemaker. <laughs> Shall we bring him out? Sure, bring him out. Ladies and gentlemen, Spike Lee. Come on out here, Spike Lee. No, these are not as big as I thought they were. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not Spike Lee. Well, all right, Mr. Singleton, let's get right to it. No, I'm, I'm not John Singleton either. Well, 
Well, you're certainly not Robert Townsend. Your nose is too small. <laughs> well, what other African filmmaker is there out there? I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. If you're that long gone silver guy. You better get off our show right now. I'm perplexed, Tom. It says here he's an Afrin... Afro... Af <laughs> Just scares me, this black stuff. <laughs> he's an Afro-American filmmaker. Well, I don't even see an Afro. Where is, where is it? In the shop getting the king chop? <laughs> hey, look, man, my name is Morgan Casey, and I'm an African-American filmmaker, and I'm here to talk about the problems relevant to blacks in movies. Well, let's do that. Let's talk about blacks in films. Why do those people talk so loud in the movie? I mean, you know, they're always throwing popcorn, and I'm sitting behind some guy with a jerry curl, and it's dripping in my popcorn. I want butter, not jerry curl juice. They're both so greasy, you can't really tell the difference, can you? <laughs> Man, that's not it. See, there is a lack of roles for African Americans in film and in television, and that's what I'm here to talk about. Come on. What about America's Most Wanted? <laughs> Good point. That's all you ever see of black guys on that. And, and what about the show Cops? Heck, if they took the black guys off that, we wouldn't even have a show. And what about the movie that was just out, Low Jack City? Well, that guy, uh, what's his name? Ice, ice Cold? Ice Cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are wrong. It's New Jack City. New uh -huh. Jack City uh -huh. and Ice Tea. Oh, we don't have any Ice Tea. We have some Kool-Aid. We got the red kind. You know, I like that, don't you? Look, what I've been trying to say is that black Americans are portrayed only as criminals, slaves, porch monkeys, spirit Hey, chunkers. hold it right there. Hot diggity darn you, Tom, hold it right Tom, there. Tom, 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 you're losing your, your um, Tom. It's just, he's... It's nothing, what he's talking about is nothing but some toe jam and pity cheese. <gasps> Can we get away with that? I mean, I'm, I'm really mad, Tom. I don't ever want to hear anyone put down slavery. That's right. I mean, when you think about slavery and you think about unemployment today, you ask yourself, Mr. Lincoln, what were you thinking? That's right. And if it wasn't for slavery, pal, you wouldn't be in this country making films. You'd be Darn back right. in Africa uh, making some National Geographic f film with some native woman with her boobies swinging all over the place. <laughs> oh, gosh, the heart. Oh. <laughs> Could I speak? Could I talk? Can I talk? At least, that might be bad, but at least I wouldn't have some white studio executive telling me what I can do with the final cut of my film. Let me show you a clip of the work I did before the studio got their hands on I hate when these angry black people bring clips. They're never funny. Your eyes are the thunder, and out of here I'll go. For I, too, am mad, and I bid you tally ho. Time! We're going to show the... You should have done the Spike Lee ending. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, let me show you what the studio did to that scene. Yo, eyes in the Thunderbird. Get your butt out here so we can go. For I get mad and hit you. Tacky ho. <laughs> That's unbelievable, ain't it? Oh, right. I haven't seen work like that since... since Jimmy Walker was in that movie with, um, what's his name? Sidney Portier. Tom, do it again do or something. Do you remember the riveting scene with Antonio Fargus kicking that prostitute up and down the street and across 110th Street? That was it. Man, you guys are whack, man. You guys are nothing but a bunch of bobo butt-kissing Bonzo brothers, man. I'm like, <laughs> you need a backbeat for that? <laughs> We butt kissing Bobo brothers do a, a beautiful ballad, huh? I'm all with that. Let's go. Maestro? Uh, instruments, please. <laughs> Hit it, Tom. Black fellas in movies should just know their place. There's plenty of good roles for people of race. There's muggers and pushers and hookers in lace. Just tap dance and shuffle a smile on your face. Good white, everybody! Good white! Good white.
$100,000 pyramid. Our guest celebrities this week are two of America's favorite stars, Tom and Tom, the Brothers Brothers. Yeah! Well, welcome to the show, guys. It's great to be here, Dick. Hi, Mommy. I understand you two are sponsoring a big golf tournament this weekend. That's right. It's called the Very Vanilla Velveeta VA Classic. In Vegas and Vermont. Vava boom. <laughs> you know how to play the game. You have 30 seconds to guess all six answers. Tom, Mark, pick a category. Alrighty. I think we're going to go with turn on. Turn on it is. This category is famous celebrities associated with the 60s. Ready? Go. Okay, a famous black man persecuted for his beliefs. Ben Vereen. Okay. He was an inspirational speaker. Uh, Nipsey Russell. Uh, his name had a letter in it. Um, um, JJ. Uh, BB and CC. LL. Um, uh, the Bee Gees. Pass. Next one, please. Okay, you'll love this. Um, 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 he, he was a godfather of soul. Wayne Newton. Uh, uh, the hardest working man in show business. Um, Pat Boone. Darker. Uh, Byron Allen. Machine. Next! Okay. Very famous 60s figure uh, associated with the Panthers. Um, Marlon Perkins? No, when you cut something, you use a... Air freshener. No, no. Uh, no. Uh, meat... Uh, cleaver. Cleaver. More specific. Uh, Wally Cleaver. Next! Okay. Woman from the 60s. Very famous big hairdo. Her initials are A.D. Um... And B. Davis, the maid on the pretty much? No! This woman was a militant protester. Gosh, I know that. I saw the episode where she poured the noodles on Greg's head. Okay, once again, guys, no correct answers. Okay, Tom, which category are you going to pick? I'm going to go with the way we were. Get him. All right. Your subject is famous historical figures. Ready? Go. Short and bullheaded. Telly Savalas. <laughs> he was anorexic. A lot of bed sheets. Um, um, dot, dot, dot. And a wick of the seven and eleven. You lost me. You lost me. Pass. Next one. Uh, he was a troublemaker. This guy didn't like his seat on the bus. Um, he didn't know he had it so good. Joe Piscopo. <laughs> he walked all over Alabama for no reason at all. Got hit in his head all the time. He was, he was, um... Relative to Don King. Don King Senior. Pass. He was the father of our country, the greatest man who ever lived. George Washington. He was against those stupid programs like um, affirmative action and, and school lunches. A, a, a politician. Um, he, he was a, the, 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 on top of everything. Bill Clinton. <laughs> Sorry, Trudy. Wrong answer. The answer was Ronald Reagan. Why do I get stuck with the dummies? Hey! Once again, the score is nothing, nothing. You know, I just can't take this anymore. I'm getting pissed myself. I'm telling you, Dick, this bull dinky is just getting under my skin. Did you... Tom, Tom, it's okay. I'm sorry, my nostril hair is flaring at this <gasps> very moment. That's a bugger. <laughs> Come on now, guys. Are you saying that if you two were working together, the two brothers, you'd do better than this? You're darn tootin'. Well, then, come on. Take the challenge. Come into the winner's circle and go for $100,000. Hey. Oh, you have only 60 seconds to answer all the questions on the board. Let's see if you can do it. Okay. Go. <laughs> Okay, ah, uh, violence, unemployed people, juvenile delinquents. Things you find at a rap concert. <laughs> the John Denver Live album, Cheese Whiz on a Ritz, a white girl. Things you find on your Arsenio Hall show. Great. Arizona, Alabama, South Africa. A uh, place to go on vacation. <laughs> Welfare, stale Wonder Bread. We're all out of mayonnaise. Um, um, things to make you mad. Yes. <laughs> Going to work every day, paying your taxes, dinner at Brian Gumble's house. Things that are fun to do. <laughs> Hi, I'm a black guy. Uh, something a robber might say. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's a pyramid record. Congratulations, Tom.
I want to be vanilla. No, you can't be vanilla. I am always vanilla. No, but you can't be vanilla two days straight. Why not? Because you are Germany and I'm from French. Oh, now I get it. Makes sense Makes to sense. me. Millie Vanilli commercial, take one. Hello, we are Millie Vanilli. You know, a lot of people don't understand the enormous success of Mili Vanilli. And neither do we. <laughs> but we are here today to tell you that you too can be Mili Vanilli with lots of positive energy and our new do-it-yourself at home, Mili Vanilli Kid. That is right. In just ten minutes, count on five, ten. You didn't think I could do that, huh? Ten minutes, you two can look and sound just like Mili Vanilli. Tell them what they get, Vanilli. Well, for only $39.95, you'll get this. Mili Vanilli hair. Very easy to apply. And dye it whatever color you'd like. Plus, you'll get this. Mili Vanilli eyes that will give you... Positive energy. <laughs> what else? Let's not forget our terrible accents. You'll also get this. That's right. You listen to these cartoon characters. Pepe Le Pew, Boris and Natasha, Elma Fad. <laughs> and you are almost ready to be Mini Vanilli. No, but not yet. No, no. <laughs> First you go out and see the latest, hottest, freshest, exciting dances, but don't do them. No, no, no! Do, do this, this instead. <laughs> now you are doing Milli Vanilli. So get a friend. Because it takes two jerks to be Milli Vanilli. And remember, don't, don't forget, forget our number. So act now because we are almost out of style. <laughs> Send $39.95 to Millie Vanilli, P.O. Box 227, Paris, California, 90029.